Go. Go. All right, let's take DeWalt out. Oh, it actually broke. Go. It broke it too. Broke the head. Broke the head. Ah. All right, guys, and today, in this week's main event, we are going to be doing a versus video between DeWalt Flex Fold Advantage versus Flex Turbo. All right, so Flex versus Flex, technically, but uh, but yeah, we will be using an 8 amp hour battery on the Flex and a 6 amp hour battery on the DeWalt. Both of these are 21700 cell batteries. Now, when it comes to a battery with amp uh, with amp hours this high, it doesn't really make a big difference if it's 6 amp hour or 8 amp hour. 5 amp hour 18650 cell versus a 6 amp hour 21700 cell, that's a big difference. But for 21700 cells with this high amp hours, it's not that big of a deal. So please don't blow up the comments. And also, I'm going to point out that we are going to be using the advantages for both tools. We will be using the turbo button when the flex could use it. And yes, we are going to switch to speed 2 on the flex fold advantage if it needs it as well. All right, because that is the benefit of having a DeWalt is it has three speed settings and that's the benefit of having flex. It actually has four speed settings because turbo mode, it works best on speed one. I'll give you guys a quick example. This Hilti, this is a SF10W822. Now how Hilti rates their system is the middle number. This is a 10, so that means this is one out of 10. So this actually has four speed settings. All right, so there are drills out there with, four, with actual four speed settings. So that's the benefit of having this specific drill. It has four speed settings. So in future videos, we will be using those speed settings as required as we are with these. All right, so let's go over the specs of these really quick and uh, get to it. All right, we'll do the flex first. We will, like I said, we will be using an 8 amp hour battery and the battery is full. I love that battery indicator. This is model number FX1271T. Speed settings uh, on speed one with no turbo is 550 RPMs. Speed one with turbo is 700 RPM. So that's a 250 RPM increase with the turbo on with speed one. And on speed two, it is 2000 RPMs with no turbo and it is 2500 RPMs with turbo on with speed two. So that's a 500 RPM increase with the turbo button on speed two. 250 difference on speed one, 500 difference on speed two. All right, so this has a 24 point clutch with its own separate transmissions for hammer, drill, and screw. Half inch fully metal chuck, single LED light on the bottom, turbo button is right there, brushless motor, and that is the flex. So for the DeWalt, for the DeWalt flex fold advantage, this is model number DCD999. Half inch fully metal truck, 11 point clutch plus two, which the plus two is ha the plus two is hammer and drill. Single LED light on the base, which this also works as a 20 minute work light. If you change the change it to half dim, that works like a regular light, or you could flat uh, have it on the low setting to preserve battery life. But that 20 minute work light is uh, actually a huge benefit. On speed one, it is for 540 RPMs. On speed two, it is 1300 RPMs, and on speed three, it is 2000 RPMs. So the RPMs do change on hammer mode. Speed one is 500 RPMs, so that's a 50 RPM difference than not being in hammer mode. Speed two is 1500 RPMs, which that's a 200 difference without being in hammer mode. And then speed three is 2,250 RPMs on hammer mode. So that's a 250 RPM difference between hammer mode and non-hammer mode. I'll put uh, the rest of the specs in right now. It doesn't say the torque, but yeah. But that is the flex volt advantage. We will be using a six amp hour XR 21700 cell battery. Battery is full. So let's see what these can do against each other. In my very strong opinion, the, I think the wood that I recently just got is still too wet way too wet. I think I got to let that dry for another month or two before I can use it. So I got to go find, I got to find wood where I could use. I think that wood's way too wet because like every video I used in that so far, it just breaks. All right, but let's continue with this piece of wood. I have plenty of space, plenty of space on here. 
All right, so let's do the flexible advantage first. Ready? Go. Time. All right, now let's do the flex. It is on speed two. It is on turbo mode is on. Ready? Go. Time. And just remind you guys why I do these screws and lags and bolts and stuff, because anything, anything less, it, it's, it's not a good enough test. Let's take it out. Ready? Go. Time. Take out the flexes. Ready? Go. Time. I'll stop the timer with the proper time for that one. All right, let's take, let's do a six inch specs. Ready, go. Time. Let's do one for flex. Ready, go. Time. All right, let's take out the waltz. Ready, go. Time. Ready, go. Time. All right, next let's do a four inch lag. Four inch by half inch lag. It is on speed one. Ready, go. I released the trigger. Yep, oh, I did it too far. Let's see if I can get it out. Yes, I did. Put it back in a little bit. Time. First, we are gonna attempt this uh, on speed two with no turbo. I think I think that the flex can do this on speed too. All right, so we have the turbo button off. All right, ready? Go. And didn't quite finish it, but it got it pretty far. I mean, I'm not. I'm going to declare that finished, you guys. We are going to. I do believe uh, Dewalt Flex Fold Advantage can take this out on speed too. So that's what we're going to do. All right. Ready, go. Time. Yes, it can. All right, let's, uh, I, I think you could take it out with uh, tur speed two, turbo on. Speed two, turbo is on. All right, ready, go. Time, not too shabby, not too shabby. All right, next let's amp it up to a six inch lag. All right, so, ready. Go. Time. Perfect. All right, for when it comes to the flex, I know it will fail on speed two, so we'll go to speed one, but have turbo on. All right, ready? Go. Time. See? It did it. See, both tools have their ups and downs and their advantages. This is a powerful tool on speed one with turbo mode on. It's a powerful tool. Yeah, these, both of these tools are major, majorly perform well with 21700 cell batteries. All right, let's take, uh, I'm curious, uh, we're going to use speed one. Now, I think I could take it out on speed two. Let's use speed two to take it out. Ready? Go. Time. See, and that's the advantage of having DeWalt. So that being said, I believe, uh, I strongly believe that Flex could do this on speed two as well. But I'm going to have turbo button, uh, the turbo mode off just in case if it's too much. I think it could do it on speed two with turbo mode off though. Because I don't want, I don't want to have to redo this to, to find out. All right, so ready? Go. Up, oh, it failed. Up oh, there it goes. Perfect. I'm not going to fail that. I am not going to fail that. It uh, it did do it on the second pull. Right, so we're going to jump up to a 10 inch lag. I might need a new one. That might be too a little too dull. Go. Darn it. There we go. You can do it. Oh, it stopped. It stopped. That's a hard task. That task is hard. 
I'm gonna give it two trigger pulls and if it fails, then it failed the test. It has two chances to redeem itself. One, oh. caught me off guard, got it. It did it. I'm gonna give the flex the same advantage. Up oh, speed one, ready, go. Darn it. All right, ready? Go. Darn it. There we go. You can do it. Oh, it did stop. It did stop. All right, the same thing. I'm gonna, it's gonna have two chances. As you can see, it stopped right there. Show you guys. So it did stop. So I will give it two chances. It will have two pulls to redeem itself. I'm pretty sure it only needs one. All right, let's continue. One, two. All right, uh, I'm gonna give it one more shot. I wanna see a turbo button would work. Nope, it does not. All right, so I am gonna give that one to DeWalt. The DeWalt did win that one. I gave it three shots, hit turbo button and turbo button off, and it still wasn't able to drive it in. Now the question is, can the DeWalt finish it? Let's find out. All right, as you can see, it, it is not down. Let's try. Yes, it did. It finished it. The DeWalt did finish it. Yeah, so I'll give that test to DeWalt. All right, but let's take out DeWalt. I'll be amazed if it could even take it out. Ready? Go. Easily. One hand. I'll stop it at the right time. All right, so let's take this out. So first we're going to try it with turbo mode on, and if it fails, we'll do it with turbo mode off. Let's take it out. Yep. It did it. Time. Turbo mode was on. Turbo mode was on, and it actually, it, it did it. Good job to uh, Flex with that. See, like I said, that uh, Flex's speed one with that turbo mode, it is a very, very powerful hammer drill. All right, so we have a one and a half inch speed bore. Let's do the DeWalt first. Speed three. Well, we will do a battery life. Uh, three bars still for the DeWalt. All right, ready? Go. Yep, too much for speed three, so we're gonna go to speed two. Ready? Go. What the heck? Then yeah, it's on forward. All right, so it's on its fail on speed two, so let's go to speed one. Fail and fail. All right, ready? Go. All right, so uh, whatever that time is, that's the time, but failed and failed, so two strikes on this test for DeWalt. Let's see on how well the flex does. All right, with speed two, turbo is on. Ready, go. Up, oh, it failed. Wow, this must be a tough piece of wood. All right, so it failed on speed two with turbo on. You know what, we're gonna see if it can continue. We're gonna turn turbo off. All right, let's go, go down. Right, let's, uh, let's go see if we can continue on speed two. Nope, failed on speed two. 
Speed one, turbo button is on. Let's see if you can continue. Time. All right, so we could do it on speed one with turbo on, which we are gonna redo that with speed one with turbo on. That it broke the side. Yeah, see it broke the side. All right, ready? Go. Time. And that is the time for the flex. All right, so let's uh, go to uh, concrete. All right, guys, we're gonna drill out a three quarter inch hole and we are gonna use uh, two pre-drilled holes. Speed three, it's on hammer. Let's make sure the hammer feature works. <laughs> yes, it does. Speed two. Turbo mode is on, hammer drill, make sure it works. Yes, it does. I don't think I've actually used the hammer feature on the flex hole advantage yet, so let's see on how well this actually does. All right, ready? Go. Take a little uh, second break. My hand was vibrating so badly. Hand was vibrating crazy. All right, so let's continue. Time. Not too shabby. Nope, it can go a little bit more. Let's continue. That's time. Yep, that's time. That is the final temperature for, we'll do it uh, this again at the bench, 98 degrees and at 113, 112, 100, oh. 113 degrees for the DeWalt. All right, ready? Go. contest no contest at all from the uh, flex float advantage to the flex no contest the flex I, I, I feel the flex got it flex got that one big time 115 degrees the flex got so yeah that the flex's hammer feature is a beast all right so as you guys can see this was not a complete blowout I do not know what the test results are until I edit the video but I think both of these are uh, in the same category and equal. Both of them require 21700 cell batteries to perform to its best, but I will say the, the, the hammer feature on the Flex is unbelievable. And believe it or not, the Ryobi, the new Ryobi HP hammer drill is up there with Flex when it comes to the hammer feature. The hammer feature on that Ryobi is amazing. Ryobi is the closest one so far that was able to compete with Flex on the, uh, the hammer feature. Believe it or not, it's true. I'm actually gonna do a ver uh, versus video with concrete only, Ryobi versus Flex, because both of those uh, hammer drills with the feet with the hammer feature is amazing. So, but yeah, if those are the results, you guys, please don't hate me for them. What I'm seeing now, the most powerful hammer drill is the dual power detect which i still need to do a real versus video between that and the flex the reason why i say that because the dual power detect completely destroyed the flex destroyed it all right so i still uh, i put that video right here 
So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.